In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the half-life equation to solve for half-life. So, first off, let's make sure we understand our equation, as always. So our equation says A, which is the final amount, is equal to A sub 0, which is the initial amount, times 1 half raised to a power of the total time T, which is 10.8 days, divided by... Oh, I'm sorry, I was just showing you the formula, and I got sidetracked about the, the numbers. Um, so T is the total time, and then H is the half-life. So uh, A represents the final amount. A sub 0 is the initial amount. T... is the total time, and h, which is what we're solving for, is the half-life. So let's go ahead and plug everything in that we have. So it says that if 100 grams of uh, gold 198 decays to 6.25 grams, so we know that that 6.25 grams is going to be our final amount, and that's equal to our initial amount. Our initial amount was 100 grams. That's what we started with times one-half to the total time, which is 10.8 days over half-life. Half-life is what we're solving for, h. So this one's a little different because we're solving for a variable that's in an exponent. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but that's the reason why I wanted to make sure we had a video dedicated to this. So our first step is to combine like terms, which uh, we can combine the 100 grams and the 6.25. So we can go ahead and divide these out. So 6.25 divided by 100 grams should be 0 0.0625, which is equal to one half of 10.8 days over h. Now, we need to solve for a variable that's in an exponent's position. To do that, we're going to take the log of both sides of the base values. So when we take the log of both sides, that's going to allow us to pull down the exponent property, or I'm sorry, the exponent value because it's the inverse function of an exponent. So I'm going to write out what I mean. So we're going to take the log of 0 0.0625 and we're going to set it equal to the log of 1 half. And now we have pulled down 10.8 days over h. So we're going to take the log of 0 0.0625. Doing that should give you negative 1.2, which is equal to the log of 0.5, or 1 half, which is negative 0.3. 0, and we're going to multiply that by 10.8 days over h. So now that we have taken the log, we can go ahead and combine our variables and finish solving our question. So we're going to divide out negative 0 0.30 from both sides, negative 0 0.30. So this is going to be 4, which is equal to 10.8 days over h. And so all we have to do now is multiply by h to both sides. So now you have 4h equals 10.8 days. Divide both sides by 4 to isolate h. And h is going to be equal to 10.8 divided by 4, which is 2.7 days, and that would be our half-life. So remember, the hardest part to this question is just realizing you have to use logs when you're solving for that exponent's um, position. So once we took the log of both sides, it was pretty straightforward, pretty algebraic to get there the rest of the way. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please can give it a thumbs up and then consider subscribing to our channel so that you guys can be um, first to know about new content that comes out for chemistry.